Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, the Honorable Greg B. And today we're continuing my journey through my dark ages of uh, baseball card collecting or sports card collecting in general. We've moved on to 1988, uh, Series 1 tops. Uh, if you've missed any of the previous ones, head on up there, check those out. Uh, we started in 94. I started in 94 and now I'm up to 98. Uh, also, if you haven't yet or if you're new to the channel, head on down, hit that subscribe button the thumbs up because you like this video then uh hit that sub uh, actually hit the notification bell as well so you know when my videos drop also hit that share button share this with everyone you know head on down in the comments say hi uh tell me your memories of 1998 baseball obviously it was uh you know big big year for home runs as uh mark mcguire and sammy sosa uh, chased the home run record uh as we remember uh you know that all kind of didn't pan out great years later but at the time it was really fantastic uh but also, if you want to just say hi or whatever you want to talk about, it, it's cool. Also, check out the links in the description for a blog, a podcast, and other social media. And come back every day for new videos and check out my old videos and all that stuff. All right, let's rip into this. Let's check out the box real quick. There are 36 packs. I don't know how many cards there are per pack, but we'll find out when we open this up. I think it's 12. It might be 11. Could be 10. I don't know. Somewhere in that general vicinity. Uh, so what, what are we on the lookout for today? Not much, honestly. There's not much in terms of rookies uh the only cards in here that are like kind of rookies but not really rookies are like guys that have their first actual like tops card in this david ortiz roy Halliday, but their rookie cards were from the previous year because they were in other sets but um um yeah but also be on lookout for you know hall of famers stars inserts that sort of stuff so Hall of Fame minted cards like that of Roberto Clemente. I know Roberto Clemente's got some cards in here. Uh, I don't. I think they kind of went with Clemente instead of. Um, what's going on with this box? There we go. I like to set it up, but I'm ruining it. <laughs> so breaking the box. Oh well. Um, you know, at one point I used to like to save these, but kind of stopped after like i was like what am i ever going to do with these and that, you know a lot of them weren't in the greatest shape anyways but, all right so you know the drill by now if you've been watching any of the i'm going to do one stack today next week i'll do another stack let's spread it out i like to you know take my time opening these and enjoy them because i for some of these cards i've never seen them before i've definitely never opened any before so i like to take my time you know go through them and i don't want this to be like a super super long video or anything like that um so yeah We'll spread it out. Uh, obviously, the other thing about this time period for cards is there's always a chance these are bricked together. Let's hope hope and pray they're not, but you never know. Um, so here's some... Oh, wait, so we got uh, 11 cards per pack. Here's some information on the... Uh, there's the odds and whatever. Uh, the no purchase necessary stuff is... I'm sure long long expired, but uh, there are the odds. So let's just dive in and see what we can find. Um, like I said, I... I can't even remember what these look like. Oh, okay. So now opening it and seeing that, yeah, I kind of remember these, but I definitely didn't open any. All right, Jose Canseco starting things out. Well, Weiss, we're looking pretty good in terms of the stickiness. As I say that these two cards stick together, <laughs> Jeff Kent, but it's it's an insert. Uh, or not an insert, but like a different, like a foil card. So I guess that, whatever. Mike Bordick. Uh, then we got Charles Nagy, Joey Cora. Butch Husky, Armando Benitez, then we got a couple of backwards cards for some reason, Latroy Hawkins and Dennis Springer. All right, so first impressions are, these are decent looking cards. The only thing I don't totally love about them and only because like in more current times, you get used to seeing like a gold border and you think it's a gold card, but that's just the color the cards are. I'm assuming there are no gold cards because that'd be confusing if there were in, the, in this set. But we got Matt Stairs. Pokey Reese, uh, Kenny Lofton, Danny Patterson, Tom Glavin, Hall of Famer. Let's take a look at the back of the cards real quick. Pretty cool. Pretty typical tops. You get, you know, pretty much their whole uh, career. Some information, another picture and stuff. Uh, weird card to have him running the bases, but hey, whatever. Tom Glavin, you know, National League pitcher, obviously had to run the bases. Jose Rosado. Uh, we got Jer Jeremy Bernit Bernitz. Uh... Coral Hersheiser, Mike Hampton, and for whatever reason, the two cards on the back are backwards all the time, I guess. 
Jim Eisenreich and Carlos Baerga. Um, rounding things out there. All right, we got uh, Roger Bailey, Hideo Nomo. We got our first uh, uh, Chuck Finley. And then we got our first uh, Bob Clemente. Always weird that I had Bob. Supposedly, I've heard this. I don't know where I heard this, but I heard it somewhere. And I, so I don't want to credit the wrong person, but I, I apologize for not giving credit to wherever I did hear this. The reason why his card said Bob Clemente on him was because Roberto Clemente was too long and didn't fit, so they just shortened it up to Bob Clemente. I mean, I don't, I can't remember anyone ever calling him Bob Clemente outside of these cards, so it's kind of weird, but there we go. We got a Bob Clemente. Steve Carse, Randy Johnson, Hall of Famer. Uh, Billy Wagner putting this fire out for some reason or whatever's going on there. We got Scott, Scott Hatteberg, um, gold cup card. Uh, the one thing I will say about these cards, now that I think about it, that I don't totally like is the fact, like, the Boston Red Sox part of this is really small. So it's like, you look at this picture real quick, and I, obviously I knew Scott Hatterberg was on the Red Sox, but I'm like, oh, why is there no, like, Red Sox logo anywhere? But then I was like, oh, it says it really small down there. Um, and I guess it's in the background of the thing, too. Like, I don't know. That's just a lot going on there. It's too, it's, it's a little... It's a little eh. Uh, we got David Segui. Um, Frank Thomas, Hall of Famer. Jim Bollinger. Um, yeah, so I don't know. That's the only the kind of thing I don't totally love. It's like, I get it. I You, know, you have the logos, but they're like really small. It's like, I don't even know what those are supposed to be. And it says that, I don't know. Luis Gonzalez is kicking things off this pack. Gl Glendon Rush. Then we got Garrett um, Stevenson. Got something, oh, a couple guys back here. We got Larry Rodriguez and John Patterson. Uh, but what, is this minted? But this is some sort of parallel, right? Because it's got the minted thing, right? I was, that's confusing me. I'm like, I see that. I'm like, well, these guys aren't in the Hall of Fame, so that doesn't really make any sense. But uh, yeah, this must be some sort of parallel. See, you know, when I wasn't collecting these years and I'm not familiar with these sets, um, yeah, I have no idea. So correct me if I'm wrong down in the in the, in the comments. Uh, educate me a bit. Uh, Wade Boggs, Hall of Famer. Kevin Stocker, Dennis Eckersley, Hall of Famer. We get a Kevin Brown. Jason McDonald. I feel like he's sticking to some something, but he wasn't. Uh, Steve Avery and... Darren Dalton around and things out there. Got a few more packs to go. Let's see what we get. Got Lyle Newton, uh, Bill Taylor, Pat Mears. A little bit of a stickiness, but not terrible. Um, it's always these foil cards. Uh, 97 World Series, Marlins win the World Series. We got Mark McLemore, Rusty uh, Botalico. Kevin Elster, Javi Lopez, Mark uh, Holtz, Gold Cup card, and then our backwards cards, for whatever reason, are uh, Jose Hernandez and David Bell. So, there we go. All right, moving on. We got uh, Dimitri Young, Aaron Seeley. Mark Gardner, here's our uh, uh, interleague matchup. So I guess it's either, it's a mystery thing. So it's either these guys or these guys, or is it one of these four? I'm not sure. We'll find out in a minute. Mike Sweeney, uh, we got Scott Cervase, Tony Clark, Doug Drabeck, Ray Ordonez, Joe Vitello and Michael Tucker. All right. Save this for the end of the video. We'll see, find out what it is. I don't want to leave you in suspense too long, but a little bit, a little bit. All right. Let's see what we got in this next pack as I destroyed that pack. Uh, we got a checklist card. Uh, Matt Lawton. Oh, those are the back cards. <laughs> see, that's confusing too, because it's like, wait, which way am I supposed to go? Uh, we got Henry Rodriguez sticking a bit to Rick Aguilera. 
Ray Langford. See, it's always when you get down to the bottom packs. They start sticking more. I don't know what it is. Joe Girardi, James Baldwin, uh, Baldwin, excuse me, uh, Jose Valentin, Charles Hayes, uh, Mike Lieberthal, and Bill Miller running things out there. All right, let's see what we get in our next pack. We get Garrett Stevenson again. I feel like we got him before. Brady Anderson. Sandy Alomar, we got some sort of Etch-A-Sketch card of Mike Piazza. Okay, cool. Wally Joyner, Gerald Williams, Manny Ramirez. Throw him on down there. Jason Dixon, Rick Reed, and our backwards cards are Eddie Guardardo and Greg Vaughn. All right, last pack for today, then we'll do that mystery thing. And we'll be out of here, and we'll come back next week for another stack of packs in this 1998 Top Series 1 Puppy Box. All right, Wilton Guerrero, Brian Hunter, Steve Traxel. Uh, he's sticking to something, right? Yep. We got one of these World Series cards. These World Series cards are the worst. It's sticking. Kurt Abbott, uh, Willie Adams. Some stickiness there. Paul Sorrento. Uh, Olive Olivo Verez. Royce Clayton and our backwards card, our color Spariga, and another checklist. All right, so let's see if I, first of all, if I can get this off, because without completely ruining the card as well, that, I remember last time I had one of these, it, it was hard, because, I mean, I don't want to ruin the card, too, so it's like, do I just leave it? Like, I can't leave it, no. But, like, how do you, how are you supposed to peel this without, like, ruining the card? I don't know. If you have any suggestions in the comments, like, about the best way to do these, uh, I mean, I know these were popular for a couple years, but I feel like they went away pretty quickly. I'm guessing because people complained about, you know, the fact that you have to basically ruin the card to get this thing off. Um, if you can get it off anyways... I mean, I guess leaving it, it's not terrible, too, because you can always be like, hey, it's a mystery, you know, like, whatever. But, uh, you know what? I I, I'm, I can't do this. I'm going to have to do it off camera. Um, come back next week, and I'll show what this is if I can actually get this off. I don't want to take, take way too long to figure it out. I apologize if you were sticking around for that, but, you know, stay check out next week. I apologize. I cannot get that thing off, and I don't want to take 10 minutes to do it. All right, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, come back next week for part two. Uh, subscribe, like, share. Uh, I'll leave it on a little cliffhanger. I'm sorry, but we got to do it. All right, thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe, have fun, and bye. All right, I couldn't do that to you. Here it is. It's the Sammy Sosa. I finally got it off. <laughs> it took, that was a pain in the butt to get that off. But it's a mystery finest Sammy Sosa. I'm not, I, you know. All right, I, I apologize for the little tease, but all right, there it is. I got it off. All right. Thank you everyone for watching again. Subscribe, like, share, stay safe, have fun.